Hello, Internets! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back for some more Pokemon Platinum Q Charm. And oh my goodness, we had to play a lot of the in game story in order to get to a new area to Shiny Hunts. And there's a lot of cool stuff up here on uh, top Mount Coronet. First off, Obama Snows. Remember, I promised you guys that there's gonna be wild Obama Snows somewhere. Uh, this is where it is. We're gonna be finding common 30% wild Obama Snows. So that's the big guy that we're trying to find first. Unfortunately, Snowbers shine first. We don't want Snowbers, we just want the Obama Snow. We gotta get the evolutions. We don't want the little guys. That is considered cheating. If you can hunt the big ones, you gotta hunt the big ones. So, um, aside from that, you know, I kinda wanna put the bag, uh, give me the bike just because of uh, speed. Oh, I'm not allowed to, oh, it's considered snow, so I can't bike here. That's a bummer. All right, so um, a bomb of snow is uh, the first one we're gonna get today. But I don't know about order, who knows. There's actually four shinies. Yes, just kidding, a bomb of snow's first. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna read the future. A bomb of snow is gonna stay in the first Pokeball I throw. To make sure that happens, I should probably read up on this guy first. Um, Obama Snow is a capture rate 60, and uh, at the level of 38, it is going to know Wood Hammer, Ingrain, Ice Shard, and Mist. This is actually going to be a really difficult capture. Great! Um, I'm glad we found him right away. That's nice at the very least, but, uh... Whew. Okay, um... How about we just quick ball them? I've been using those things lately and... Eh? Eh? Please? Please stay? One, two, three, please! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh, it's gonna stay in my first Pokeball! I knew it! Oh, I'm so good at games! Fortunately, I was able to ESP my way through that one. Ah. Uh even though I kind of cheated with a quick ball, but still, that's a capture rate 60. That's not very easy to catch at all. Like, Dialga and Palkia in this game are capture rate 45s, okay? So, like, that's really difficult. So, that's awesome. That is awesome that we got him. I spat all over my screen with my ESP powers. Dang it, I did it again. Um, his footprint looks exactly like a Pupitar. Does that just mean he, like, he walks with Pupitars? That's Pupitar to me, man. They, uh, the Frost Tree Pokemon, they appear when the snow flowers bloom. When the petals fall, they retreat to places unknown again. Ooh, ooh, I know where they're going. I always know where they're going. But either way, give a nickname to the cot, Obama Snow, yes. Backnips was transferred to Box 1 in Bebe's PC. <laughs> Just watch the episode with Snover. If you haven't already, you'll know what that's about. This is gross, guys. <laughs> it's gross, but it's true. Actually, I don't remember what the back of Obama Snow is really like, if it really does have back nips. <laughs> but either way, the inside joke finally got, got to come to fruition, and we're done with that. So, Obama Snow was the first Pokemon that we needed to shiny hunt out of here. There are more. Alas, there are more, of course, because there's more on the thumbnail of the video. Or if you're watching on livestream right now, then uh, there's plenty more, because I told you before the episode started getting recorded. So, anyway, we're also going to be looking for a 20% Metacham. Um, oh, that's so cool, because it's a 10% rare, and we don't need it. We don't need that! We already have Ching Ling. We are gonna be getting uh, Kameko, Chimeko, Chimecho, whatever, later in the next episode. Um, but now, mm -mm, no. Ain't no way, because we have plenty of Pokemon to get out of here. By plenty, I mean at least four. Um, the second one's a 20% Metacham, like I said. Another Obama Snow. The problem with Obama Snow is Obama Snow is uh, 30%, so it's a super common. Um, Add it together with Snover, which is also a uh, 20, which is a 20%, so that's together 50% chance of us not getting the Pokemon we want. Um, if you add the other two that we want into that as well, Machoke and Chingling, um, that's an additional 20%, so now you're looking at 70. So there's a 70% chance we're already not going to get the shiny we want, but hey, there are Metachams in here at 20% chance. That's cool, we do need Metacham. Aside from Metacham, we're also going to need the 5% Nose Pass. Remember guys, a long ways back, whenever you're in Mount Corona, you have a chance of getting Nose Pass. And since we're here right now, 
We can. So, you know, we just might run into a shiny nose pass while we're here. Though, we do need to get, since we already have one shiny nose pass, we have to clear if we can pass by. Um, so we might be able to get that one next time in the, uh, Kimeko episode. Um, but I'm not sure. It's, it's based on what appears and when it appears. So we're gonna be looking for the blue Metacham at 20%. We're gonna be looking for a nose pass, maybe, at 5%. But we certainly do need to get one before we leave of a 5% Absol. Who's gonna be the big highlight of the episode if we can get him found. That's gonna be a big deal. I'm basically, basically gonna keep looking around in here until I can find a Metacham because I'm expecting him to show up kinda quick, but 20% still really low chances. Um, so if we can find a shiny Metacham, that'd be amazing right away, because the big hunt is really gonna be for that Absol. That's gonna take a long time. Maybe. I don't know. I really have no idea. In Harkle Q Charm, we found a plenty of crazy things right away. For example, I'm thinking of uh, 11 encounters and found a 1% shiny Yanma. Um, I found a 5% uh, exclusive to midday shiny Pidgeotto on my first encounter. Um, there's plenty of crazy things. I remember I ran into Safari Zone to hunt Breloom through, went, went, got one encounter, shiny Breloom, threw one ball, captured shiny Breloom, and I was like, dropping the stylus. I'm out of here. I'm done. I did my job. I hunted them Pokemons. I'm no more. I'm done. I'm going home. Even though I was like, I don't know what else to do with the episode because that was that was my episode. Now I'm now I'm I'm out of juice. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> so stuff like that happens sometimes. But also I get really long hunts. Like if you guys remember, um, oh my gosh, Meryl, Pokemon Heart Gold Q Charm. I'm going back to the ones that I'm remembering of like really hard hunts of Heart Gold. Though there were really, really hard hunts in this game too. Like, oh my goodness. Phoebus and Munchlax. Both of those guys stunk. Though I'm so glad I can say they're over with because people were freaking out about them. The thing is, nobody was freaking out about, like, say, Meryl being hard. And that 1% Meryl took me like a week to get. It was unbearable. Um, man, it would have been cool to get a Mochoke in here because we would have been easily turning it into a really strong Machamp, but. Whatever. Um, yeah, like nobody was thinking about Scyther. Oh my goodness, that was that was like the ongoing meme of uh, Heart Gold and Q Charm. Like, can we ever get um, can we ever get this Scyther? It was just oh, it's just crazy. I just kept getting killed. There was nothing I could do because I stubbornly insist that this has to be the one and only Q Charm Pokemon that I use through the entire series, because I want to look at this one and say because of this one, I caught all of these. And that's what's so cool about it. And like, look at this one Pokemon, This one, what this one Pokemon did. I don't know. Just, I find it cool. It adds to the challenge of it. Otherwise, it's just going to be feeling like I'm exploiting the game. And though I am, I'm doing it to have fun, so I'm giving myself rules to make it harder. Like, for example, catching the shiny of the evolution, as opposed to the normal version, because that's just what I do. If I caught the normal ones and just leveled them up, I'd, you know, it's not the same thing. Plus, I'm trying to find some use of the point that you have to, you can find evolutions of these Pokemon in the wild. Why would they bother doing that if, you know, no one out there was going to do something like what I'm doing and trying to hunt them? But, anyway, that's just me. <laughs> so it's actually kind of crazy, we're still not- we're actually not finding a lot of shinies in here at all. Um, aside from the fact that we are not finding, um, any extra sh uh, like, Metachamps. Uh, I've never seen an Absol yet, I've never seen Nose Pass- <gasps> YES! 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 SHINY Absol! SHINY freaking Absol! HOW?! That's a 5% shiny Absol, I haven't even seen one yet! What? Oh my god! That is so freaking rare! That is so rare! Yeah, I just needed to mention it and there it is! That's all I had to do. See, so yeah, speaking of Absol, here it is! Oh my god, that is so rare. This is one of my favorite shinies too. This thing looks so beautiful. So beautiful! I gotta take a look at this. Oh, I forgot. This is a capture rate 30. Remember when I said earlier um, about, uh, oh man, about the capture rate 45 on Dialga and Palkia? 
Well, Absol has a capture rate of 30. This is this is harder to catch than Dayalga and Valkia. And I don't have a plan. Because um the uh I, I think I got a quick ball turn one. The problem is hail is gonna slowly kill it. And I don't have a trick way to catch this. One, two, please! Three, please! Yes, thank you! Thank you! Oh my god, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. Holy cow, that was so lucky. Oh my god, I knew it! Thank you! <laughs> oh, I just needed to mention it, and it's here! I forgot about my, my ESP powers. Oh my gosh, the disaster Pokemon. That was the antonym of a disaster. That was a miracle. Rumored to sense disasters with its horn, it became a target. It fled deep into the mountains. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. That is insane. Give a nickname to the Con Absol. Yes. Disaster was transferred to box one in Baby's PC. Hey, Baby, I just got you an epic Pokemon day, Baby. Oh my God, that was so cool. Like, in fact, I just, I just, can I just save that? That that happened? Oh my God, that was awesome. That is so unlikely, all of that. Oh my God, that is so cool. Like, I remember um, when I was up on here trying to chain that Absol on purpose. And it was so unbearable. It was so difficult. And I kept failing at like 39, 38, 39, 37, 39, 39. It was just horrible. It's so hard to see the shiny patches through this. And I kept... Obama Snows kept breaking me. And... Oh my god, it was terrible. That one's shiny too. Like, I'm finding so many of the shiny rares. At this point, I just need Metacham. I really... I just need Metacham. Um, Nose Pass would be amazing, but um, I just need Metacham. You guys are gonna throw me off. If Metacham doesn't shine next, I'm gonna be really confused for the next episode. Because <laughs> Granted, I actually need to uh, shiny hunt what is left in that area. Um, as in get um, Kameko out of there before I go back to the ground. Um, and it's mainly because I don't want to run back up here when I check, because uh, I was going to go back to check and reveal the natures and all this, because that Absol, I'm sure, is going to be really, really amazing. I'm so excited. Well, granted, th this this nature set, it'd probably be best for it to be a neutral one, but I don't know. I don't know, but either way, we'll see. Um, I can't believe this is taking a while. I was, go I was swear, I was about to start montaging before, and then, like, the encounter that happened. Um, ooh, ooh, how about this? Uh, we haven't even seen a nose pass yet. Come on, buy my pop. No, okay. Well, maybe maybe Nose Pass will show up really early. Um, but if Nose Pass doesn't, that's actually better for my episode wise, because then I can save him as a five percent specifically, and we're gonna hunt him out with the Kimeko next time. It was my plan. So it's good that Absol showed up first. That's good. I'm glad. Metacham, you're a twenty percent. Where are you? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> um. I don't know, but I, I can't believe I, I found the 5%, and now I'm about to montage for a 20. But um, either way, I will see you all when we get lucky. I don't use RNG. I know what it is. I really don't like it. Um, I consider that the same as just plugging in an action replay into your system, because that's really they're doing the same thing. You know, you're you're basically cheating. You're you're using the action replay. Uh, and the point of spamming F was to pay respect for Kim, so you can ent can't entire. Yes, shiny Metacham, where were you? Oh my God, that took forever. That took forever. I don't know why that took so long, but finally we got Shiny Metacham, which means we can move into the mountain! That was ideal! I don't know why he took so long, but yes, we can move into the mountain, we can go for our next Shiny after this. That is a really, really cool Shiny. Like, may I just say. He's also got a capture rate of 90, so that is cool. It makes me feel a lot better about this. 
It's on level 40, though. That's pretty scary. At this level, it is going to know. Psych up. High jump kick, force palm, and calm mind. High jump kick honestly scares me. I don't want to do this for all of our Pokemon, but the colors match. And high jump kick means it can kill himself. And this thing was too hard to find, so I'm going to toss a quick ball. We're going to triple quick ball this. Three in one episode. One, two, three. Boom. Yes. Yes. Quick balls for the win. Quick balls. Thank you. I didn't even have to bother with that. Capture rate 90, though. That was our best chance at getting one of those guys yet. Thank you, Shiny Metacham. It gains the ability to see the aura of its opponents by honing its mind through starvation. Oh. 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 I feel kind of bad for it. Like, I want to give it a cheeseburger, but I feel like it's going to kill it if it eats it all in one bite. I feel bad. Oh. The Meditate Pokemon. Give a nickname to the Cotton Metacham! Yes. Burger Pants was transferred to Box 1 in Baby's PC. Yay. Burger Pants. I'm sorry, I had to take the really stupid names because I love stupid names. Okay, so guys, what we're going to be doing is working our way- oh! Yes, okay, good. I was gonna say, did I forget Rock Climb? But I didn't, fortunately. Okay. We are working our way into the next area, which is going to be up a little bit higher. I need to, uh, spend some time running there to get there for the next episode. We're gonna be looking for Nose Pass, and we're gonna be looking for Kimeko, and we're gonna be looking for them next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Choo Charm. Boop.